way of creating a really effective video uh, is making sure that your um, cuts of your video line up with the music you've chosen. So as you can see, uh, right around here in my video, I've got like a drum that goes boom, 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 boom. So let's kind of listen to that for a sec. You can see the video I have there is, uh, is friendly, but what I really want it to be is um, a little more ominous. So I've selected some clips here from other parts of Finding Nemo, and we're going to use them to insinuate that some terror is coming. So I'm going to drag that clip just here. If I look at my sound wave, I can see the first boom comes here, and then each one of these spikes in the sound is a new boom. We want to line up each one of our clips with those booms. Now, I've selected these clips, and uh, they don't really, um, you can, well, you can choose the parts that you want to keep. So I'm going to start it here. I'm going to cut it right before the second boom. And to do that, I'm going to use my blade tool. So I'll go up here, choose blade, or you can hit B on your keyboard. And what I'm going to try and do as best I can is make cuts that line up with these sounds. And I wasn't quite great there, so I'm going to undo and try that again. Here we go. That looks a little bit better. I'll throw this away for now. Let's go get my other clips that I've pre-selected from the movie. All right, let's see. What, what do we want here? We've got our shark chase. So I'll drag that in. And there's our next boom. So again, I use my blade tool. So I, c I switch back and forth between my blade tool and my selection tool. Um, I tend to do it by clicking A for select and B for blade. Okay, here we go. Here's our shark. And cut. Throw away. Next, we've got Dory looking crazy. gasping. I'm going to actually, because the cut is so short, let's do that, and blade, throw away, and we've got some other sharks with their teeth here, and blade. And then finally, we'll stop with this scene here where, you know, an ominous looking and ominous looking scene. Now, I want this to actually to last a little bit longer here till we have another sound. And so I'm going to actually make this clip last a little bit longer. And to do that, I'm going to go modify, retime, slow, and I'll choose 50% to make it last 50% longer. All right, let's watch it back, see what it looks like. Let's maybe start with a, a, the previous uh, couple of scenes here just to get a sense. Oh my gosh, so intense. Worked out pretty well. So there you go. That's how you line up your cuts of video with sound. It makes it so much more impactful.